from Porta Ventura Park here in Porta Ventura World. Absolutely can't wait to have a good day around the park today. We did come in the park last night for a few hours. We did do uh, basically majority of the major rides and we are going to do them again today. The park's open until 11 o'clock tonight so we're going to do loads of different rides across the whole park and uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very good. And as you can see, first, first few rides of the day up in China, there's a Dragon Khan. And Shambhala, because why not? It's a, uh, it's a. Uh, they're both very, very good rides, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, continue up to the park, and we'll see what we're gonna do first. Dragon Calm first, then let's go. Had a fantastic ride there on Dragon Khan. I don't know why people say it is very rough because I find it really uh, smooth. I find it quite smooth. It's not. It's, like, it's not the best b and I've ever been on, but it's still quite smooth in my opinion. However, heading over to Shambhala, we're going to ride this uh, in the single rider queue because the it's not even really open, it's not even opened yet, and it's got, already got a massive queue. So. Yeah, we're gonna go join the single rider queue because I don't mind the single rider queue here. It's quite good, they get the moves in quite quick. So yeah, we're gonna head on to Shambhala exhibition to the Himalayas. So we've just been on Shambhala exhibition to the Himalayas. Absolutely fantastic ride. It really is such such a good ride. We queued in the single rider queue anyway for about 10 minutes there, not bad at all. Uh, they're getting those trains out really quickly. Uh, last night they were running on a three train, running on a two train in a minute. But, uh, last night they were running Dragon Con on a two train last night and running now on a three train. So yeah, they're getting the trains out as quickly as they can. It's really good, really good. I really enjoyed it. Really good ride. Um, I'd say it potentially sits around second or third. Uh, I don't think it beats Taron just yet. There's no coaster since 2017 that's beat Taron. But yeah, I, I'm saying it's up there with Flying Dinosaur. Um, I love a good B&M though. B&M and Intamin are my favourite manufacturers. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head up to El Diablo Trenda de la Mina. That one. So we're about to go on to El Diablo Trenda la Mina, which is this roller coaster here, which is an Arrow Mine Train roller coaster. So we're gonna have a ride on this. Oh, I've heard mixed stuff about this. I've heard it's okay. I've heard it's like mixed. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go and get go on this. Apparently it's a three lift hill special, and uh, apparently it's a bit underwhelming. So uh, let's go and have a ride. Oh, there's a whole lot of helix here. Wow, this is cool. Theme me around here is quite cool. I love the sign up there, El Diablo. And there's there, there's another train coming in. Yeah. Waited only about two minutes to get all around there and then to here. So yeah, won't be long. I think about 10, 15 minutes till we're on. Let's go. So we've just been on to El Diablo Trenda La Mina. That was quite good actually. Quite a good little uh, uh, Arrow family coaster. I think it is Arrow. I think it is. But yeah, honestly, great ride. Enjoyed it. It was. It had some good parts of airtime. Uh, it had some good transitions and etc. Quite enjoyed it to be honest, really enjoyed it. Um, but one weird experience, it was thundering and lightning when we were on it and that's one experience I don't think I'll ever get again on a ride, but that was quite fun. But yeah, because uh, we're gonna head all the way over to, I think Hurricane Condor next. I think that's the next one we're gonna do on the way around. We're doing like a anti-clockwise way around the park today, so yeah. So we were gonna go on to Hurricane Condor, but then the thunder has stopped the attractions. We're going to go on Stampeda. The thunder has stopped the attraction. And we were going to go on to Silver River Log Plume. But it's closed because of the lightning. So yeah, we're going to continue around the park, see what we actually can do and what's actually open. Um, but yeah, but yeah, let's keep going. 
So, after wandering around the, the park, we went over to Polynesia and etc. Just to basically get a general vibe of the park. Because we only saw it in the night time last, uh, last night. Uh, basically, uh, I've decided I'm going to come over and do Hurricane Condor because it has a single, uh, single rider queue. Uh, but also, Shambhala has that as well. So, I may try and jump between the two um, and do a ride on one, ride on another. Uh, but yeah, I'm just walking through this fantastic, I mean fantastic Wild West area. It's, it's got some fantastic buildings and it just, it feels, it has a general atmosphere. Here's Stampedo just over in this corner, just here. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the queue. I think it, it says on that board, 40 minutes. It's quite a long way actually. We'll uh, head up to uh, Hurricane. It says it's on 30 minutes apparently. So yeah, we're going to do 30 minutes on Hurricane Condor. I did this at night last night. Absolutely incredible. So, so good. Honestly, it's so good. But yeah, we're going to continue around and go and get a ride on another attraction. So, I've just completed the blue track on Stampeda. Queued at about 30 minutes for it. This was the advertised queue time. Um, but I've got to say, that was appalling. That was one of the worst roller coasters I've actually ever been on. Uh, it was really rough and it was really uh, tight against the, um, the stomach, uh, etc. So I was felt really uncomfortable. But the weird thing is, I did red last night. We'll get to go and do red at some point today, at some point. And red was just absolutely fantastic. So I don't know what's the difference, mainly. I think it may have been better wheels or whatever on red but like blue was appalling so um yeah tell me your opinions in the comments if you prefer red or blue that's just a bit you know what i mean after some lunch and snacks there we're gonna head all the way up to uh mexico again and we're gonna go and do temple de fuego which is an action-packed adventure apparently and I've heard stuff about it so we're gonna go do it so because yeah why not so yeah we're gonna head up there now uh, we're just walking through Wild West at the minute up to Mexico that's time for Temple del Fuego Temple of Fire let's go go on to this we're quite excited for this it's got some got some theming and then etc so yeah let's, uh, let's have a go on this or through this, shall I say, express pass. Why Shrek here? Start of the second day. Let's head on to Furious Backo. Let's just go around there to test. See how let's go. So we just came off Furious Backo, which is the Intamin wing coaster, launched wing coaster. Uh, nah, we keep an hour and 30 minutes for it. Um, is it worth it? No. It was really rough. Even on the central seat, we're on the second row and it was rough. So that just says something about it, don't it? Um, yeah, it was okay. The, like, was it a heck on in the queue, which was nice, but yeah, it was a bit, 
you get what I mean it's not the greatest to be honest not the greatest but hey ho it is what it is but currently heading around Polynesia at the minute heading around to Sesamo Aventura to go on street mission yeah <laughs> let's go time for Sesamo Aventura it's just a knockoff guard land kit area basically we just with Sesamo Street on written on it but yeah we're gonna head up to street mission she's around the back of Sesamo Aventura so yeah Let's have a go. Uh, up to uh, Street Mission. So we've just come off Sesame Street Street Mission, absolutely fantastic ride there, it's such a fantastic dark ride, it's like it's really good, it's got a mix of screens, it's got a mix of like like um, animatronics, it's got a mix of like the proper theming, but honestly so good, so good. But we're about to go on to this beast, just here, Shammy B. Let's uh, head on to Shammy B, let's go. So after a fantastic ride there on Shambhala, it's now time for Hurricane Condor. We're currently in the single rider queue, so it's not, it shouldn't be that long. Entrance is just there, so it won't be that long. But yeah, one of my favourite drop tiles is this. We enjoyed it at night a few nights back. So uh, let's have a, another go on it. So it's been a few hours since I last went on to Hurricane Condor, which was a fantastic ride. Got stand up, uh, very, very happy. Didn't tilt though, it weren't the tilting one. But yeah, at least I got to go on it, which was fantastic. Uh, we also did Silver River Log Zoom. That was fantastic, got absolutely soaked. We also did Grand Canyon Rapids and Sesamo um, Ventura, the street mission thing, street, yeah, that. We did that, which was quite good. Really enjoyed that again. Um, and then we've just come back around the park, done a few re-rides on Shambhala uh, and etc. We've kind of just chilled for a few hours just because we've come to the end of our trip here at Port Ventura. But we're going to head down to the, the shop and Mediterranea to go and get some stuff. So we'll join you down there and etc. And uh, yeah, and wrap up Port Ventura Park, which has been absolutely fantastic. So yeah. So we're just in the shop. The majority of the merchandise is Woody Woodpecker, which is the main mascot of the park. So like you can, oh, look, this is actually quite a nice t-shirt here. This uh, of Shambhala and Dragon Khan and Hurricane Condor. It's all the different names of all the different rides there. Woody Woodpecker, Jumper, a Port Aventura, World, Mug. It's just there. Uh, a lot of his Woody, Wood, uh, Woody Woodpecker. Um, a lot of just uh, normal genuine Port Aventura World stuff. Dragon Khan t-shirts, Shambhala t-shirts, this nice t-shirt here. A Port Aventura World with the coordinates of the park. Uh, and a lot of just Sesame Street toys to be honest, that's mainly it to be honest. So yeah, there's not much merch. Um, like if you want to spend money, you can get nice merch. Like this nice t-shirt just here with Porto Ventura World written on it which I will not be purchasing because there is one thing I am purchasing which I can't find so I will show it to you when I find it gotta find it this is the one thing I'll be purchasing the uh, Porto Ventura World polo very much like this 24 euro though so yeah let's go so we have come to the end of our trip to Porto Ventura World I can't say park because it's world now um, but yeah, it's been great. It's been great to go on all the different attractions such as Shambhala, Dragon Khan, Hurricane Condor, Furious Backhoe, 
yeah that was terrible um but like other attractions it's been great to get across the whole park and do all those different attractions um it's been a great park it is a fantastic park it is very busy though it is very 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 busy so you just gotta gotta strategically make your way across the park and use the single rider queues when you can uh, but honestly great trip enjoyed it ferrari land was great but a bit underwhelming so you can see it's in the bit background there but yeah it's been great it's been great but yeah thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe we'll see you next time goodbye